Okay. Uh, gratitude to transmission, uh, Jimbo's transmission. And uh, next is a question session. If you have uh, any questions, uh, please raise your hand. 非常感恩堪布的传承，也非常感谢堪布为我们带来精彩的演讲。那么相信大家都意犹未尽，接下来呢，我们就进入提问环节。呃，如果大家有准备好的问题，请举手示意我们。看夫您好，呃，很高兴，很荣幸能见到您。<笑>我想问一下，呃，佛教讲因果，也讲无常，呃，我想问一下这两者有没有冲突？然后我想问一下这两个概念，呃，是不是由新的功能升起的？而且它最初的由来是什么？是因为无名，所以才有因果或者无常，呃，还是说这里有一个独立于无名之外的一个规一个规律？谢谢。Okay, so I'm I'm very happy, uh, great honor to see you, Campbell. And my question is that is there any conflict between? Because in Buddhism we talk about law of cause and effect. And we also talk about everything is impermanent. Are there any conflict between these two? And if all of this comes from our mind, is is this origin of our mind? And is this origin is our mind? Is this origin uh also ignorance? Ah, um, um, this question, actually, um, in Buddhism, you you this question to move, you must move the two directions. So, in order to know this question, you need to understand the twelve links of dependent origination. 讲到十二元气的时候，外面的物质的元气和内在的性的元气。So the、uh, dependent origination is the externally, external materially, and internal mindly. 比如说，外在的物质的元气的话呢，春夏秋冬。种子和苗芽之间虽然是无常的关系，但是其实它的这种因果、因和果呢，就是不断的会有有它的一个规律。So externally, material externally, you can observe if you plant a seed, it goes into the tree, and there the spring, summer, autumn, and winter goes on like this constantly. There is a clearly changing of this cause and effect in our external world. 内在的十二元气的时候呢，也是同样的。我们的业力，或者说前一刹那、后一刹那，虽然是无常的，但是它之间呢，也有三有三报、二有二报的一个，呃，无法无法呃无无气的一种因果的规律。And from internal mindly, there are also twelve links of dependent origination. So we focus on the karma and the previous second and next second. Of course, what we do is impermanent, but still there is a common law that will not be changed. Is that virtuous root? It will have a virtuous fruit, and a non-virtuous root will produce a non-virtuous fruit.